with my torches. So I'm going to start consolidating stuff into the house now. If only to move all of this stuff into the chests in the basement. I still have metal parts here. Oh, come on. Am I warm enough yet? So I'm going to have to stand here for a while. But I think at this point, we can start dismantling the roof. Because this entire thing is now being deconstructed. Or maybe not the entire thing. Okay, 37.1. Uh... Yeah, we were transferring stuff here. So it doesn't matter, just... Put it in here. Doesn't matter what it is. It's probably going to be messy here for a while, but it's fine. Probably put away this uh, stuff here. Like we're not going to need the saw or the hammer or chisel for the time being. Come on, get, get in there. Oh, I should repair my clothes as well. Like, it doesn't provide any protection, so I do need to, like, repair it. Plus two... Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus one. Okay, so I do have some protection from the cold. I'm going to need that. We have raw fire bricks. Okay, let's move these things. I keep the flowers there for the time being. Like, I'm gonna do a lot of organization around here. Like, there's probably stuff I can consolidate into their own stacks. But for the time being, we'll just do this. Pretty much, let's keep the bricks. Get some more of the stuff here. Okay, I did see a drifter. Okay, so he should be running away. Okay, let's get some more mortar from here. Okay, we still have a lot of cobblestone slabs that we haven't used yet. Okay, let's just get some stuff here. And we'll continue consolidating all of this. Oh, we do have maple logs here and some blue clay. And this is taking a while to do anything. And... Yeah, we did feed the animals, so... I can ignore that. Oh, I do have a stack of sticks here. Uh, let's just dump the flowers, like, in here. That way I don't have to worry about them. Flowers too. The fire starter, like, we need to get rid of this. Oh, come on. Get out of there. 
Yeah, we'll get rid of the fire starter over here. That way it despawns. And we'll start chopping this stuff down. Okay, I think that's it. Still have to deal with those temporal gears. But we'll just move all of these things over here. Okay, we can add another three chests, like, right here. And we can put the temporal gears in the corner. And we'll just put all of this stuff here. We can get rid of the reed baskets. We have raw fire clay bricks. I put this here. I did have, like... This stuff, yeah. Okay, so we do need to consolidate a lot of this stuff. And uh, I did have some extra quartz, didn't I? So yeah, we do have to like still process a lot of this stuff. Okay, fire clay bricks. Uh, no, what I want to do is continue smelting the glass, because we still need a lot more. I just need to find those bricks again. Uh, right here. We only make three of these, though. There we go. So, we'll just get this smelted real quick. Keep this going so we can get more glass. So we're definitely going to need to harvest more quartz because we need glass for the workshop as well. Twenty-four. Oh yeah, we need some coal and then we'll get that going. I still need to work on this path here. Like, it's kind of bumpy, like, working with this. I also need to, I guess, work on more charcoal, because we are burning through a lot of this stuff. And I also need more uh, black coal. Still have that deposit. But we are going to need more. Since we're here, I do need to get some peat. Get that into the house so that I can actually do more stuff. Like, there's just a lot of things I still need to do. It's never gonna end. I guess this here. So, let's go and get an oak tree. I guess if we're going out, might as well just... Oh, and I still have the black coal with me. The building materials can go here. And I really don't need that many torches on me. And axe and... Oh, the axe should go here, I think. Yeah, and then the spear here. Okay, time to eat. And time to get more food. I guess replace this torch. Keep it lit. Okay, we shouldn't- oh, come on. Pick those back up. 
Okay, so this time we're gonna get some oak because I need to reload the charcoal pit. Or maybe I can dig like a bigger one. That way we can get some more charcoal going because now we're at the point where we're going to be using a lot of that resource. I'm just looking back and forth at the time here because I'm eventually going to take a break. So maybe I'll play for like one more day and then go. Because I'm still good to play. Not hungry or anything. At the same time, I do need to take a break, you know? So what I want are those big ass oak trees because they give lots of wood. I guess we can disembark from the path over here and find some plants that I'm just not going to cut down. Yeah, there's a oak tree right here. In fact, I could probably use maple since there's a lot of maple trees around here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Produces a lot of particle effects as well. I might as well just cut down this oak as well. And this one as well. And that is a lot of oak. And that's a hole that I'm going to look down because I like looking down those holes. Yeah, this is a very heavy maple area. Probably should work on maple trees instead of oak. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Because this is going to be firewood anyway. It doesn't matter what wood you use. It, they all give the same amount of firewood. They're big trees too. That didn't give that much. It only gave like two stacks, or almost two stacks. Oh, gotta be mindful. Also, gotta pick up these sticks. Okay, I'm just looking for the big trees, not those tiny. Thin ones. I like this. Looks like a thick one because he has those logs sticking out from the sides. Not thick enough, apparently. Oh, there's a lot of sheep here. Still need to hunt those guys. But anyway, let's get back on the path. Let's start heading back. Now, there is a fire clay deposit here. Oh, what the hell? Froze for a little bit, but I'm okay. Wait, is that a walnut tree? Hmm. Should cut that down, except this is a firewood run. Because I'm just getting firewood. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Was there something? Oh, those are carrots. This is maple. Like, we do need to cut this down anyway. It's near our path. I did have some axes on my tool racks. So I'm going to use that to cut 
the firewood first. Throw these seeds away. Yeah, just so we don't have to use up the durability on this axe until we clear that out, clear out the inferior axes. I mean, this thing is not even a third of the way done. And you know what, since we're here, might as well just continue torching this place. Because it needs to be torched. Doesn't want to be torched. Wow, really? Because I did encounter a wolf in this area, so we do need to get rid of this brush. Like I did start a fire around here, but the range was pretty limited. Now I have to worry about the chunk unloading, because it is pretty far away. Oh well. Okay, so we almost got our house done here. Now we got a bunch of wood. We can turn that into uh, some more stuff. We're gonna turn that into firewood. Oh, we have like copper axes here. You know what? Let's put the the bronze axe here. Take both of these over there. Okay, so let's just put all the wood here first. Now let's dig this out. And what I want to do is expand this charcoal pit. We're going to just put it deeper. Since now we have meteoric iron tools, like we can make a bigger charcoal pit. Much easier. It's not really the pit that's the problem, it's mainly the gathering of the trees. Like the flint axe is just too slow to gather large amounts of logs. So this isn't going to be permanent. So. I'm just going to continue using this low fertility soil here. Oh, it's already getting dark. The sun is setting and it's only four o'clock. Yeah, well, that's winter time, isn't it? Okay, so forget me not. You know, I don't need those plants. Let's go and cut these things down. Okay, I don't need pine logs, so we'll cut that. Actually, let's turn this entire thing into wood. Into firewood. Yeah, let's turn the wood into wood. Okay, so let's just start putting this in. Where's my lantern? Oh, there he is. So this is now 4x5x2. By by this will give us a lot more charcoal. It also requires a lot more wood. 
I just go with the smaller charcoal pits in the beginning of the game just so that you have charcoal. Just so you have that resource that you can use for copper smelting and stuff. But once you actually get into like the late game where you have like lots of iron, lots of metal and stuff like that, you're going to need a bigger pit just so you can produce more. Okay, let's cut this, cut this. Just cut all of these. These are oak logs, right? Yeah. I gotta be careful not to cut like stuff that I actually want. Like I don't want to be cutting walnut into logs or into firewood because I actually want to use that for building materials. We don't have that much daylight anymore, so we gotta hurry. Okay, I guess I can turn this into like the packed dirt. Okay, hopefully we have enough because we did get a lot of logs. There's only one inventory's worth, so I don't know. Should have enough. Oh no, do we not have enough? About to find out. Oh, come on. Okay. We don't have enough. Okay, we're gonna have to go out and get more firewood. Alright, let's just go. I mean, there are some trees over here. Let's cut them down. I don't want to cut that one down because that has resin, I believe. So, let's just go north. Let's just cut down some more trees. have lots of trees here. Oh, this is a big oak tree. Here we cut down like three trees. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a trap. I successfully evaded it though, but it was a trap. So let's collect all of these. And we got some dirt in the process, so it's good. Just a little bit though. Uh, I think. Okay, let's cut down this tree as well. Okay, be careful of the dirt. Okay, we're good. Just barely. Oh, wait, there's still some more logs up there, so we do have to throw this away. Oh, look, there's flax. I don't want it anymore. I think that's it. 
Yeah, that should be it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we have enough wood. You know, I still haven't built a tower yet. Like a bright landmark to mark my base with so I can see it from a distance. That's what happens when you try to go for expensive materials, not cobblestone. Okay, this is done. But we were over here, we were getting this thing going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be good enough. Yeah, six more spots. And this is a lot of firewood. But once this is done, this will produce... If I remember from the last playthrough, it was like two full stacks of charcoal. Plus a little bit more. Okay, let's seal this off. Alright, start this process. Okay, this is a charcoal pit. I'm gonna seal this and then put the rest of the firewood back in here. And I don't really want the oak seeds. Or you know what, let's just like plant them here, here, here. This is probably not going to grow by the end of this playthrough. Because again, I probably didn't set the settings correctly. Well, anyway. I'm gonna put this copper axe back. And we have 51 charcoal. We need to continue all of this stuff. Still need to fire a lot of stuff. You know, at this point, we do need to start working on the shingles, so let's just do that. There really isn't that much going on right now. I probably should start another round of, like, preservation when you get these crocs. Need to get them into the house. Okay, that's it. Okay, we'll lay these down. And I still need to get the uh, copper processed and get some more lead so that I can make those alloys. Okay, 